Hello, Oasis Faith Baptist Church. I'm Billy Moss, the pastor of Rockdale Baptist Church, and I'm here to congratulate Nelson Goddard on 10 years of fantastic ministry serving you and our community. Uh, Nelson is one of my very best friends in ministry, and I love you and Laura and the kids very much. Hi, my name is Matt Stewart and Nelson. It's so exciting to see you with your 10 year anniversary. I can remember a long, long time ago when you were actually wrestling with a call in ministry and it was fun for me to be able to get a chance to see that side of you. Aside from you and overalls over at the transfer station, and every time you saw me say, that'd be a dollar, that'd be a dollar, that'd be a dollar. So hopefully your ministry is worth a whole lot more than just a dollar these days. Hopefully God has changed you and shown you an incredible uh, just value to what ministry and following him. And I look forward to being able to see what God's going to do in your life for many, many years to come. Love you, brother. Hi, this is Olivia Phillips, assistant to the lead pastor at Rockdale Baptist Church. Nelson, I would like to congratulate you on your 10 years of service at Oasis Faith Baptist Church. Um, I appreciate the dedication that you've spent over the last several years in um, the ministry furthering the kingdom of our Lord. I love you and Laura, the girls and their families, and I wish you many, many, many more years of service. By the way, I am still waiting for my official offer to become your office assistant. Happy anniversary. Hello, o Oasis Faith Baptist Church. I'm Ron Gardner. I'm the worship pastor at Rockdale Baptist Church. And Nelson, I just wanted to congratulate you on 10 years of uh, ministry serving Christ uh, as a vocational pastor and tell you I love you and uh, enjoy the times that we have fellowship together. I'm proud and um, blessed to see how God has used you and continues to use you in that ministry there. And I pray that God will give you many more years of uh, service to him and blessing as uh, you serve to increase his kingdom. God bless you and happy anniversary, buddy. Take care. Hey, Dad. I just wanted to say congratulations on 10 years of serving and good luck on many more. We love you. All right. We're at the Yellow Brick House today, and uh, I just want to wish you some uh, congratulations on his 10 years at the uh, Oasis Place Baptist Church. And uh, I just want to congratulate him on finally getting his diploma and his, meeting his goal of what he wanted to do for his life. And I just hope everything works out for him in the future. And uh, by the way, he comes out here on one Wednesday a month and has a prayer meeting with these people. And uh, that seems to be working out good. I'm, I'm just glad he continued doing that after Mama's passing. And uh, just wish him well. Congratulations, Nelson. We just wanted to say thank you so much for all that you've done for the Elbrick House. It's been a pleasure getting to know you, and we just really appreciate everything you do. And congratulations. Hi Nelson, it was good to know you, good seeing you when you come by, and I just want to tell you congratulations. Love you. Nelson, just wanted to congratulate you on 10 years. That's great. Awesome. Nelson, we're proud of you. And we're missing, missing you at our favorite restaurant. Hi Nelson, this is John and you. This is Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary. No. Okay, my name is John Slavin. And I've gotten to know Nelson because my room is directly across the street or across the hallway from where his mother used to live. And all over a period of time while we got to talking about various and sundry things, and got, got real friendly. We got real friendly and uh, it's, I'm, I'm sure it's a, it's a very, very uh, auspicious thing to have been able to accomplish what, what he's accomplished in 10 years. And congratulations. I don't know Nelson, but I'm wishing the best of everything. You know Pastor Nelson that does a devotion? Sir? You know Pastor Nelson that does a devotion? Yeah. She wants you to tell her, how did you meet him? And congratulations. She what? Just tell her congratulations for helping, helping out with the oh, devotion. Oh, that's, that's one of our famous Just congratulations, that one? That's, yep. That's our congratulations. Congratulations. Devotion. Right. That's the best you can get there. <laughs> Pastor Nelson uh, did a good job on the devotions. Help us. Amen. 
What am I so supposed to say? Anything? Well, Pastor oh, Nelson. I've enjoyed it here very much. <laughs> yeah, me too, me too. Hey, Nelson. Hey, Nelson. I'm no major. And I this. You want to talk? I like that. She's been on a her whole life. What am I supposed to, what am I talking about? Pastor Nelson, that does a devotion. I don't understand, but I... Well, do you appreciate him coming out here doing devotion? Mm -hmm. Pastor Nelson, that does a devotion on Wednesday. You go, yeah. This is his daughter and uh, her friend. He, oh, she wants to know, okay. do, do you appreciate him coming? And let me say Tell him congratulations for 10 years. Oh, yes, congratulations. It's wonderful. Nelson, we're so uh, happy to hear you. This is your 10th anniversary at Oasis Faith Baptist Church. And uh, we hope you have many, many more wonderful years there. You're you're such an inspiration uh, for us here at the Yellow Brick House, and, and we appreciate the time. You can come and be with us. We know it's a, a long, a very long trip for you, but you're a sweetheart to do it. And we just missed you and your family and Miss Becky around as frequently as you used to be, but uh, you know that we love you, and uh, we just wish the best for you and your family. And. Uh, have a wonderful celebration on your 10th anniversary. Okay, first things first. Hey. Hey. Hi. Right. Uh, now, first things first, really, is uh, to Nelson. First of all, I want to thank you and congratulate you on your 10 years as pastor at Oasis Faith Baptist Church. And really looking forward to 10 more years and hopefully even more of the, the same word, though, that you brought to us over the years. And, uh, <clears throat> I really know that you are a godly man. You show it every day in uh, your life and the things that you do and all, and God uses you very well. And I, I just hope and pray that someday he'll use me as, as good as he does you. And I've learned a lot from your preaching and from your preaching of the Word and from the Bible studies that we've had over the past several years, or especially the ones back when the we had our men's Bible studies and all this. I don't just seems like they were just... I just picked up a lot of things on that and all. And uh, I'm really glad that I've gotten to know you for more than just being my cousin. Uh, and, uh, but as a, as a leader and a brother in Christ, um, I'm, I'm proud to be a member of uh, Oasis Faith Baptist Church. And you're someone that we can always count on. You're always there when we need for whatever the reason, day or night. There's anytime... I know myself, any time I've called or no matter what time it was, whatever, if you couldn't get to the phone to answer it right then, if you were busy or something, it wasn't just a few minutes, you'd call me back to see what it was. You've never just forgotten about it. And I pray that God will continue to use you to preach and spread His Word. And I don't like telling me in this, but I thank you and I love you, brother. And, uh, oh, thanks for helping with the grass, too, and as uh, old Barney Fife would say, this is big, man. This is really big. Thank you. God bless you, Nelson. Nelson, you've been a, a good friend of mine, my family, and I appreciate all you've done for my family. And you've been there for them and me, and, and I appreciate everything you've done. And I love you, and, and I just... I like you. I'm one good preacher and everything, and and I know you've done a lot for this church, and, and I love you with all my heart, and my family does too, and and thank you, sir. Nelson, I haven't known you near as long as most of the folks here at the church, but what I have learned about you is that one, you are a genuine individual. There's no pretense about you. What we see in Nelson is Nelson. And uh, one of the best things that I like about you is your heart for evangelism. That is just speaks volumes about who you are and who you walk with each and every day. Nelson, congratulations on 10 years here at Oasis Faith, and I just wish you many more years of, 
uh, in your ministry as you as you continue to follow the Lord and do as his, he calls you to do. Happy anniversary, Nelson. Happy 10 years at Oasis Faith. I just wanted to say what a privilege it's been to serve with you and under you here for the last year and a half. And I don't know that I've ever seen a pastor with a greater heart for evangelism and the baptisms that have taken place here at Oasis Faith certainly show that. Look forward to seeing what else will happen in the time we have ahead to serve together. And we just wish you a great 10 year anniversary. Nelson, you, uh, you've been a big part of our lives um, over the past several years. I know we're celebrating your 10 years here, and that's a fantastic accomplishment. I think I've been here for um, nine. I was close to seven, but maybe uh, it was. Anyways. Uh, regardless, you've been a, you've had a huge impact on my life. You've just been able to um, be a great example of what it is to be a, a just a, a true man of God, Lord, and just just a, a leader of, of people, and uh, and just a a person that I can really really look up to. And, and I mean, you were there with us from the beginning. You married us. Um, we were it was a great honor for us, and um, I've learned just a lot from you, just about about leadership and what it takes to to win somebody to Christ, then um, it's just been an honor to serve under you and serve with you, and and um, I look forward to the next 10 years. Um, I just want to say that I am so appreciative of um, just your humble attitude and the way that you, you set an example through your own serving of what we all should be doing. Um, I'm grateful for uh, the passion and emotion with which you preach and um, just I'm grateful for how much you feel for your congregation and, and have a heart for people and um, so thankful for all those times I've called you and you have dropped everything you were doing to listen to whatever little piddly problem I had and I know that you're always praying for me and I appreciate all the, the text messages and the phone calls and just all the support, and, and there's one thing I can always say about my pastor is that he's he's always supported us, always. Um, we appreciate the opportunities you've given us through leadership, and and just the way that you've encouraged us and lifted us up, and um, you've just really always been there, uh, both you and Laura. So uh, we love you and we appreciate you. Hi, Pastor Nelson. I just want to thank you on behalf of the entire Hersey family. They couldn't be here, but I brought them with me. And I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done for this family. Four out of five ain't too bad. And, um, I, you know, the other one, he'll get here sooner or later. We work on him every Sunday. But um, I just want to th say thank you and that I love you very much and your whole family and I love the church. And so, thank you. Hey, Dad. Um, just wanted to say thanks for all that you do for us. I know you do a lot. Um, I see a lot of the behind-the-scenes things, and I just wanted to say thanks for all that you do, and congratulations on your 10 years. Um, I know there's some hard times, and there's ups and downs, and just wanted to say thanks for all that you do for us, and we all really appreciate you. Love you. Hey Dad, just wanted to say congratulations on your 10 years. We just want to um, thank you for all that you do. And um, it's just been a pleasure to serve with you here at Oasis Faith for the past seven years. And to have such a great example throughout my life as a father. Just thank you for all that you do. And um, congratulations again. And we hope to have many more years of serving. Nelson, congratulations on 10 years. Uh, it's been a real blessing and an honor and a privilege to... Uh, be here in ministry uh, with you and serving under your leadership and alongside you. Um, I know I've learned a lot from uh, from working with you and just uh, your example that you've set and just uh, what it means to have a pastor's heart and really understand what um, every what it is that you do every uh, each and every day. So thank you so much. Uh, Ten years is an awesome accomplishment and. Uh, we're very lucky and um, appreciative to have you as our pastor, and uh, just thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. God bless.
I love, we love you, Paul Paul. We love you, Paul Paul. Nelson, uh, Pastor Nelson, it's really an honor for me and uh, my dear wife to be able to be a part of this your 10th year serving the Lord Jesus through the ministry of the church. I don't know of anyone that has uh, been more used of the Lord than the way the Lord has used you here in this local church. You're truly a man of God. You're a dear friend. And on this, your 10th anniversary, my wife and I want to join in, uh, with the church congregation to congratulate you on the way the Lord has used you. I'd like for, uh, to leave you with two verses that are part of my life verses. I quote them and I use them extensively. They're found in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. The, uh, the scripture says, Of which I was made a minister, according to the gift of God's grace, which was given to me, according to the working of His power. To me, the very least of all saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unfathomable riches of Christ. Nelson, thank God that God has called you to preach and the purpose is that you'll preach the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you as you continue the journey and uh, that, as the Lord continues to grow His church. And God bless you and the congregation on this 10 years of faithful ministry under the Lord. Uh, we go a long way back with Nelson. He's uh, he's just a member of the family. That's all you can say. I mean, we knew him at the service station. We went to church with him when he was still a teenager before he married Laura. I mean, we just go way back. And I guess my most memorable occasion with uh, with Nelson would be when he was over at my house one day and I was working on his trailer. I was repairing it, doing some welding to it, and he actually stood on top of the thing so the the decking could contact the frame member so I could weld it. And of course we realized that uh, that was a perfect application for him right? as opposed to welding. The actual, you know, compressing weight up there just made the job just go so well. And uh, from then on we, we just kind of joked the fact that uh, he was built that way and that size for a reason. The Lord knew what he was doing. <laughs> we just go way back. Love you, man. Just thank you so much for all that you do. Nelson, you know I love you. Uh, you've been a part of our family, you and I, for a long time. Um, I was your Sunday school teacher, your friend, your everything, you know, and you've just grown so much in the Lord, and we just appreciate all that you are. You've always been there for us and for this church, and I know you mean a lot to all these members, because uh, and you really just mean the world to us. Keep keep up the work for the Lord, and um, we love you, and have a great day. Hello, Mission Nelson. We want to thank you and congratulate you for your 10 years. We thank you and appreciate all that you've done for us. I've come a long way, and so has the youth. And again, we just want to thank you for all that you've done. Thank you. Mr. Nelson, are we out of gas? Congratulations! Congratulations. Congratulations. Hi, uh, I'm Patricia Parker, and this is my husband, Nelson Parker. And we're Laura's mother and dad, and I've known Nelson for um, quite a few years now since he's the husband of my daughter. And I'm just so proud of all the years that he took to study the Word of God and become a minister. And he went through a lot of hardship to become the minister of this church. And I'm just so proud of him and of my daughter and of my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren that are here in this church um, serve the Lord. Well, Nelson is, I guess Laura took after the namesake for Nelson. <laughs> and he, seen, he is a excellent, excellent gentleman. And <clears throat> I just don't have enough words to say about him. He has been a lifesaver. I just admire the gentleman. And Nelson daughter is my favorite son. 
this is my personal thing to melt on. Congratulations and thank you, Nelson, on your 10 years of service and dedication here at Oasis Faith Baptist Church. Uh, we feel like you were truly sent here from God. That uh, I know I was on the selection committee, but uh, don't feel like <laughs> I'd like to bow my chest out and say that, yeah, I brought him here, but I truly believe God sent you here. And that. Uh, he knew he had a man that was wanting to do God's work, his work, and he knew he had a church that needed you, and that's why you've been here 10 years, and just wanted to thank you on behalf of my family. You, you married me and Amanda here at this church, and one of our kids have been saved under your tenure here at the church, and we got another one coming up, and <laughs> she loves you to death, and uh, we just want to thank you and tell you how much we appreciate you. Congratulations. Nelson, I would like for you to know how proud I am of you for 10 years that you've been a pastor here. And I must say, I enjoyed growing up with you and going on all of the trips that we went with, um, especially when it was only me and you. And we went to New York, we went everywhere. But I must say that it bothers me just a little bit, excuse me. Did you always say that I cried and my mom and dad would do anything for me? And so, I never quite understood why you said that, but you've let everybody know that I, every time I cry, my mother comes running, you know, and I don't understand it. Mother, Mom, 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 went through it's Darn. Nelson again. Nelson, do that to you. Yes. Well, we'll have to speak to him yes. about that. Yes. Nelson, I think you should apologize to her. You have put trauma on her all of these years. Yes. And I think you ought to be apologizing to her. I congratulate you on your uh, 10 years of being pastor of this church. And um, I know that uh, your mother's gone and my sister's gone. But um, I know that God has given us the strength to get through it together. You're a great person, Nelson. I love you. You are so proud of you, Nelson. Love you. Hey, Brother Nelson. I just want to tell you congratulations on your 10 years here. And uh, thank you, Brother, for asking me to come down and help you, be able to be assistant to you. Well, I just want to tell you how much I love you and how much I appreciate what you do for us. And God, I just thank God for who you are, for the man that you become, and especially the man of God that you are. Thank you for working with me so many times. And, helping me out and I just want to thank God for this church and for everything that's about this church. Thank you for being so compassionate to your follower, uh, to your parishioners and hope you have 10 more happy years at least here or wherever God wants you to be and just keep on keeping on brother. We love you, appreciate you. Anytime we can help you know we're always available. God bless you and have a great day. Congratulations, Nelson, on 10 years of faithful service at Oasis Faith Baptist Church. I know Michelle and I have known you and Laura for over 16 years and consider, consider you all part of our family. Um, just, we just wanted to thank you for all the times that you've picked up our kids and took them to church with you um, so they could worship the Lord. And uh, just so grateful for all the times that you've been there for us in the, over the years to help us out and to to always remind us to, you know, to keep God first in our lives. And we just wanted to congratulate you again on 10 years of, of, of service, and we love you. Congratulations. From Nelson Goddard, this is Jim Martin, retired pastor, First Baptist Church of Lithonia, Georgia. One member of the high clergy to another member of the high clergy. Right, right, yeah. Uh, and I want you to listen up, pay attention to what I have to say. This is important, and I don't want to have to say it again. Some of your older relatives can remember the day when the military draft was in force and sometimes people were rejected for the, rejected for the draft, considered unfit for military service. They were called 4F people. 
Well, today I want to describe you as 4F Nelson, but not 4F unfit, but 4F, 4F fit for kingdom service. The first F, faith. Quoting and paraphrasing loosely a passage of scripture which says, I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that dwelt first in thy grandparents, Dan and Clara, and thy parents, Bill and Becky. And I am persuaded in thee also, a man of faith. The second F is friendship. The Bible says, he that hath friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. Well, I'm not that friend that sticketh closer than a brother, though you are my brother. The ultimate brother is the Lord Jesus Christ. But I valued the friendship that we have had over 35 plus years. When I first knew you, olden times at the old Gulf Station or BP Station, whatever it was, at Evans Mill Road and I-20, you were just a little old runny-nosed kid. Now you're a big old runny-nosed kid. But I have valued our friendship over the years. My appreciation for you and your friendship has escalated greatly through the years. Now the third F in your 4F situation, not only faith, friendship, but fun. The Bible says a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. Nelson, you are sometimes almost as much fun as playing with snakes. And I just want you to know that I value the good times that we have had together. I appreciate greatly your gentle good humor. And on your special day, Sunday, May 3, in the year of our Lord, 2015, have fun, have a good day. Now don't overdose on the communion wine or any other hard drinks and get yourself in trouble with the law so I have to come to visit you in jail, but have a good day. And in your ministry, some unsolicited counsel for you that is in relating to people always be sincere everybody ought to be sincere even if they don't mean it and then when you stand up to preach let your tongue be true even though your teeth are false so nelson have fun on your good day and i'll i will not get to be there but i will look forward to enjoying some fun and laughter with you later now the fourth f in your 4f scenario is the word faithfulness. Quoting scripture once again, 1 Corinthians 4, 2, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. Not rich, not powerful, not good looking. You and I would come up a little short on that one. Not necessarily eloquent speaking with the tongues of men and of angels. Not even successful, not even pastor of big church. But it is required in stewards that a person be found faithful and you have excelled in your faithfulness to the Lord Jesus Christ, service to his church and his kingdom work. So I want to proclaim you today as 4F, for, fit for kingdom service, a person of faith, friendship, fun and faithfulness, and to borrow a good saying from our Marine friends, Nelson Semper Fidelis, Semper Fi, always faithful keep the faith brother look forward to seeing you later bye bye In sin's dark path